Want to see something cool? Like spotting a trail of sweaty leather to the dungeon door on a surprise visit to grandma's house. You walk in and within 30 seconds you know the whole story. Someone's been touching things. This generator operates by spinning a giant DC electromagnet inside a ring of wire coils just like this. The moving magnetic field creates a current in the coils and we ship pesky pixies down the wire to the outlet behind your mom's bedside table. We feed the big magnet with a machine called an exciter, which is really just a variable DC power supply. Typical for this size generator is an exciter supply of 120 volts DC at about 50 amps, give or take. We tweak those numbers to set our power factor. To get that power from the frame and into the game, we pass it through a carbon brush into a brass slip ring. The brass will last a century, but the brushes are as fleeting as a summer fling. Like a bully, they look hard, but if you drag one across a concrete wall, it turns out they're soft enough to leave a permanent mark. The replacement interval is just long enough that if you don't keep notes, you won't remember which brush fits which generator. So when I come in and a parts table has more variety than a bus stop at BoundCon, I know to go hunting on the generator for shiny bits. If it's not covered in shit, it's new. No. Not touching that joke! Nope. Generator 1 is on the other side of a half-frozen moat because the damn floor drain froze again. But it's 5 degrees and nobody's getting wet feet in this weather unless shit's on fire. So, let's look inside Generator 2. Yup! Yup! Called it! There you go! That sticks out like a hickey on a hemorrhoid! Yes, that's exactly as fun and easy to access for maintenance as you imagine it is. Bootsy must have done this one. Good job, sir. Save me from having to wedge my anorexic ass in there. If he did it, I know it was done right. And that's pretty cool.